Hi, I'm Dr. Cherie Dursum of Integrative Medicine of Arizona, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of vitamin D today. Vitamin D is important for your complete health. Vitamin D really acts like a hormone in your body. Although we still call it a vitamin, it really is a hormone. It interacts with all the, um, your sex hormones as well as your immune system, very important there, and building healthy bones as well as teeth. Vitamin D is also important for your heart health, your brain health, um, also for your nervous system health. So we, when we look around in the body, we see vitamin D receptors on almost every cell in your body. So it stands to reason that vitamin D could be one of the most important vitamins that you take or the hormones that you take. So important to get your levels checked. That's something that can be done at your primary care doctor's office. We do that often here at Integrative Medicine of Arizona. And we're looking for levels up into the 60 to 80 range, which is really ideal for patients. So what kind of symptoms might somebody have who has low vitamin D? So the number one thing might be found on a bone scan where the bones are not very strong. So then we're looking at uh, making sure that the calcium and vitamin D are at up to par and are being absorbed. People might also have joint pain. Uh, fatigue is a common complaint when vitamin D is low. Um, immune system uh, that is not working properly when people have frequent infections. People also might notice mood changes when their vitamin D is low or um, have symptoms of anxiety. Those kinds of things can be clues to me uh, as an integrative and functional medicine physician to look for low vitamin D. So what are the sources of vitamin D in your diet? And food is, of course, the most important place we'd like you to get your vitamins. Um, but vitamin D is, is unique in that the sun is a big converter to vitamin D in your skin. So getting sunlight every day is important, especially getting torso exposure of the sun, not just on your arms and legs. And as always, we want you to be careful in the sun that you protect yourself from skin cancer. Uh, but it is important to be out in the sun to get uh, proper vitamin D levels. You also can get vitamin D, of course, from milk sources like milk and cheese um, and yogurt. Uh, for those of you who are lactose intolerant, sometimes that's a common thing. So we recommend for people who are lactose intolerant, almond milk is a great source uh, naturally of calcium or almonds. Or if you're using any of your other kinds of nut milks or rice milk even, make sure that it's fortified uh, with vitamin D and calcium. That's important. Uh, mushrooms are also high in vitamin D. Salmon, uh, tuna, and liver is a great source of vitamin D as well as all kinds of other vitamins and minerals. So take care of your health and get your vitamin D checked today. Uh, this is Dr. Sheree Durson, thank you.